Coming up in today's video, we explore a five-star hotel, check out the highest vantage point in Abu Dhabi, and go on the hunt for Aston Martins. What is up and welcome to Maps on the Map and welcome to Conrad Etihad Towers Hotel in Abu Dhabi. Conrad Abu Dhabi. No? Yeah. No? Yeah. No? Yeah. What is up and welcome to Maps on the Map and welcome to Conrad Abu Dhabi Etihad Towers Hotel. Today I'm going to be showing you around the hotel, showing you the lobby, some of the restaurants, we'll be checking out some of the food and just showing you the general vibe here, the things to do. You'll get to see that it is such an amazing place to stay. So let's go on with the tour. So let's start the tour at the entrance where we make our way into the lobby which is absolutely massive. So this is the main lobby where you can just chill here in the evenings or in the daytime. There's also a nice cafe where you can get coffees, cakes and things like that which although pricey look really good and it's where the concierge is and the check-in desk. And the vibe changes at night, comes a bit darker, you can have a drink here, that sort of thing. So it's a really nice place to be. From the lobby you can get to the observation deck which is basically a viewpoint which I think is the highest viewpoint uh, in Abu Dhabi. If you're staying at the Conrad Hotel then it's free otherwise you have to pay per person to go up to the top and so that's one of the perks actually of staying here. So the observation deck is this way and we'll show you what that looks like. So right now we're heading up to floor 74 which is basically where the observation deck is. And look at this. So this is the observation deck. This is the view in the daytime and it's amazing. It's a really amazing beautiful city with an even crazier view. The views from the observation deck are no joke and your eyes are blessed with breathtaking skyline views from all angles 300 meters above the ground. So that was the observation deck. Mad views, you can also get food there, have a drink there and just chill. What we'll do now is go and have a look at some of the restaurants, have a look at the pool and the beach and show you what that's about. So now we've come out of the kind of lobby bar observation deck area. Next what we'll do is we'll go show you the restaurants and there's quite a few restaurants here. There's basically two floors which have different restaurants on them. So we'll go quickly have a look. We ate. <laughs> <laughs> We ate at two of them and the buffet breakfast restaurant. So first up, this is called Rosewater and this is the breakfast buffet. And we've got a full video on that showing you the food to eat there and reviewing some of the eats at the breakfast buffet. It's very cool vibes. If you want to check out my full review of this jaw-dropping breakfast, then click the pop-up link or check the description for more. So that was the breakfast buffet and this is Le Beirou which is basically a Lebanese restaurant and they do some wicked food. We came here for dinner and the vibes are cool, you can eat inside, you can eat outside and there's a lot of choice with the food here and the portions are mega. You can easily share all of these dishes. We were quite surprised, we weren't that hungry and we decided to try some little bites and the portions ended up being massive. But great food here. And then coming back this way, this was the buffet. And then through here, there's actually a mall, which we'll show you in a bit. And the mall called Avenue has lots of high-end shops. There's also a waitress there, which is really well priced for a waitress. So if you need snacks or drinks, that's a good place to go. But otherwise, it's very expensive designer shops, as I'll show you a bit later on. Now going down the next floor, I'm going to take you to a few more restaurants, the swimming pool, the beach, and we'll show you that. There's also a restaurant called Naham, which is a poolside restaurant offering more casual eats like burgers, salads, and wraps. So perfect if you want a quick bite to eat. And then going this way is Sole, which is basically an Italian restaurant, which is what we ate as well. And then now we'll take you to the beach area. So this is just outside Vacava, which is a pan Latin restaurant. But just look at this view. These Etihad towers are absolutely huge. And then basically the pool and beach is open for most of the day. It gets boiling here. The hotel does have its own private beach area. There's a big pool, there's a pool bar. They sometimes bring out, you know, drinks for you, ice lollies, things like that. So it's a good place to chill. So not only is this hotel in a great location, because it's close to pretty much most things, and about half an hour from Yas Island, which is where all the theme parks are, but it's also, you know, close by to Emirates Palace, close by to the city. So it's a great location, a great hotel, a great place to stay. There's the beach, the water, and then the pools are over there. And look how mad that is. Oh my days, they're huge, these towers. And then the pool bar is just over there. I definitely recommend coming to stay here if you are visiting Abu Dhabi. It's a great, great hotel. 
the staff here are amazing I can't fault this place okay so now you've seen the beach and the pool what we'll do is we'll head to the mall which is attached to this hotel a very very expensive mall though it's all designer brands there's a massive Cartier store there's also an Aston Martin showroom here so we'll try and get into that and have a look at some of the cars but I think we're going the wrong way <laughs> <laughs> So this is the entrance to the mall, which is called Avenue. So you can probably see it's very fancy in here. We just came to really look around. We didn't buy anything. Everything's so expensive here. But the waitress came in handy when you need drinks or a quick snack. This is the massive Cartier store. Some fine Cartier merch. So that's the Cartier store there. Lots of designer shops. There's an Aston Martin downstairs, so we'll go check that out. A white vantage and it looks sick. And there's also an Aston Martin showroom, which we haven't been to yet. So we're gonna head there as well, see if we can film some of the cars and take a look. But let's head, I think, downstairs and show you some of the shops there. Bulgari store, very nice in here. Hermes store. So look, lots of designer stuff. So this is the lower floor. Oh, and then here's Aston Martin. Look at this white vantage. Ridiculous spec. Actually a beautiful car. One can dream. That's really it with this mall. It's a bit too pricey, but it is at the bottom of a very fancy hotel. So it's kind of expected. But nice vibes if you just want to walk around and explore. It's a good place to come. There's a nice little blossom tree. And this is like a Japanese baker. But let's go back into the hotel and show you the rest. Okay, so next we're gonna take you to the gym and spa, have a look around. <laughs> we never used it, but yeah, let's go have a look. Can't imagine it'll be very busy here. Now the gym has all you could possibly need from cardio with a view to getting a pump with machines and free weights. And that's basically the gym. Got loads of equipment, everything you could possibly need to exercise here. But like I said, we didn't use the gym. Do you want to knock someone out or we'll release some anger? And the changing rooms in here are so nice. Look, I'll show you. So, here you got lockers. You got this nice soft seating. And then there's like showers, toilets, towels, lockers. I don't know, the normal stuff that is normally in a gym changing room. But it's a really nice gym. just making sure there's no naked men in here because that would be a bit awks. Ooh, the lockers have hangers in them and a little bit of storage action going on. That's a urinal for those of you that don't know what that is. And they also do like flavoured water. I think that's a grapefruit, orange, lemon water. For water? Pretty cool. Mrs on the map has confirmed that the ladies area has a steam room and a separate ladies gym as well. That's a pretty neat touch. Excuses don't burn calories. Facts. Facts of life. Okay, we're gonna see if we can go to the ballroom. I think there might be a conference going on. The last time we went to the ballroom, it was pretty cool. It was a big space, but they have conferences and stalls. Oh, I can hear lots of people there. This is the Dermatology and Aesthetics Conference. And there's also a spa here. So if you want a massage or any treatments, that's here as well. So it's kind of got everything that you need from a hotel, really. Now I'm hoping that they'll let us in at Aston Martin to have a look at the cars. We drove past and they got some crazy cars. I'm glad I stayed here just for the Aston Martin showroom. They might not be open. Sometimes they're closed. Now! Okay, they might be closed. There's a DBX over there. So we'll hopefully, oh no, there's someone in there. So the people here at Aston Martin were so friendly, so nice. We had a little chat about the cars and they actually allowed me to record and film. So I can't thank them enough for that because not every showroom is like that. Just look at these incredible cars. The spec on these cars is insane. Absolute things of beauty. I love Aston Martins. But let's take a look at some of the footage I recorded of these cars.
And the man was nice. He also gave me this Aston Martin magazine. So that was very kind. So that concludes today's video and I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Conrad Hotel. If you got any questions about the hotel then leave a comment below and if you enjoyed the video then leave a like and as always support the channel by subscribing. Until next time, peace!